Hello and welcome to the demo for Envelope, or Envelope, however you want to say. It's by Scar Game Productions. Uh, no release date. He just says coming soon. It's a spooky game. So, you know, we'll uh, see what it, you know, it goes, I guess. So if you're wondering, the demo is all of chapter one. no idea like how long that will be but um find out part one the night shift i dig the um good old playstation one style graphics it's like been such a common and uh, relatively popular thing for horror games so i i like the trend another day at work i sure as hell hope i can find another job soon this job sucks all right, it's 11.57. I better get in there. And even though the job sucks, I've never been late. Better keep it that way. Well, let's make tonight the first night that we're late, and let's go play in the bathroom instead. Um, We cannot. Can I go back to the car and just skip work and, in general? My car isn't seeing beauty. You know, it is very, very yellow. I feel like a giant. These are really small things. The accessories store. Hmm, sounds exciting. Those hot dogs? Ooh, three dollars for a hot dog. Oh my gosh. What? Ah, there you are. Two minutes early, I see. I would commend you for your punctuality, but you're not the only one who has things to do. Speaking of which, your tasks are written on the wall in the back. Put on your cap and get to work. In the words of football god Timothy Bradenthul, Bradent, I mean, Timothy, Tim, Timothy, what? Timothy Bradenthul. Is that a real name? I didn't come this far only to be eaten by sheep. So for the next time, try five minutes early at least. You can do that, huh? Yeah, screw you, dude. I ain't showing up early to a job. Time starts at midnight. I'm showing up at midnight. Pick up the work cap from your locker. Oh. Okay. Oh, pick up soda cans. Oh. Yeah, look at that. I've done it. What else we got? Um, restock the soda, clean the floor, throw old newspaper, take your trash, clean table. Oh, I'm about to take the mop. Can I take the mop? Nope. It looks like we have to do things in a specific order. Well, I guess this dude was like, yeah, screw it, I'm gone. Ugh, gross. All right, we have mopped the, f or not mopped the floor, but stock the sodas, uh, clean the floor. All right, we can do that too. Here's someone coming in. Well, I'm cleaning the floor. Hello, dude. Are you here to buy a hot dog? It's only three dollars. Up, dude. I like your shirt. Oh. <laughs> oh. What are you buying? A cookie? Uh, I'm a hey. My name is Truck Driver Johnson. What? You may know me from my channel name, Truck Driver Johnson. If you don't, that's fine. I'm out here on the road, anyway. I'd like this chocolate bar, please. All right. Uh, I will take your money, and I will add it to the register. Look at me. I'm a valuable employee for accessories store. I don't really assume this is, like, soda... Or raspberry jam. It could be raspberry jam. Alright, put the mop away. Nope, uh, we'll just carry the mop with us forever, I guess. Roll the old newspaper. Alright. Uh, what the hell was that? It sounded like somebody knocked at the door. What's up, buddy? What you doing? The man moves erratically. 
and he seems to be completely inside his own mind. He mumbles something unintelligible. Uh, okay, dude, I'm gonna take out the trash. You do your, your stuff or whatever. Tweakers. A trash bag and container outside. I like that they walk it through for me. I mean, because I, I wouldn't know how to do any of these things. Whoa. There's more trash? My goodness. Oh, it's a shame I can't pick up all of them at once. Just put it in the trash bag. I feel like on our third trip, something terrible is going to happen. Like, maybe this dude's going to attack us. I should take a hot dog. Eh, yeah, guess not. Another customer is coming in, but wait, I want to see what's next. Clean the table. Well, that seems easy enough. Oh, this dude looks like he might be a nurse or a doctor. Hello, doctor. You, I just had a patient. Oh, look, look at that. I was basically correct. <clears throat> Phew, I just had a patient die on my table. A bloody mess, to say the least. Give me a hot dog, would you? Well, and just for your information, from what I can tell, you know, with my trained eye, there's a delinquent drug user right outside the gas station. I have deduced this due to the individual's sclera being off-colored, slightly tinted towards a yellow, yellow color. This hints at prolonged use of alcohol. His pupils are also extremely large, which hints at methamphetamine use. Told you I was good. Anyway, just thought you should know. Now where's that hot dog? Well, I can't get the hot dog if you're like all busy talking, my dude. Thanks. Oh. That's only a dollar. It's supposed to be three dollars. I have been scammed and bamboozled. Alright, clean the table. I need a sponge to clean the table. Well, that makes sense. I will say that I'm not real impressed with her cleaning supplies. We didn't do a really good job. Ah. Well, this guy's here to use the table, but no, 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 no. No drug use at the table, my dude. <gasps> Hey, I'm sorry I didn't mean to yell, did I scare you? I'm sorry, okay, it's just that I like those stains, so please leave them. I know you have a job to do, but the customer's always right, right? I'm sure you're a good guy, but just, just leave the goddamn stains. I should leave this guy alone. No, I'm gonna clean the stains. Oh, I can't clean the stains. He gave up, he just gave in and just let this homeless dude tell him what to do. That symbol wasn't here earlier, was it? Oh. Can I use it? I, I was able to use it, uh, but I couldn't clean it. Dude, what are you doing? You can't be in here. Hey, I know I'm probably not supposed to be in here, but the stains helped me realize something. It's you. He's pointing at me. Fuck, what is he going to do? I need to find some way to call the police, but if I reach for my phone, he might attack. Better try to stay calm and look for an opportunity. Find the man who works at the station and you shall, find, you shall find salvation. That's what the man told me. It has to be you. But forget all that nonsense, okay? All that talk of salvation bullshit, I don't care, okay? That guy was stacked, he had a whole bag of goodies for me, okay? That's all I care about, do you understand? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't like that look. Oh god, what do I do? Can I look down? If I reach for my phone now, is he definitely going to attack? If I reach for my phone now, he is definitely going to attack. We hear grammar choices. I have to say something. I have no problem with you, okay? How about you just hand over the letter to me and then you can go and get salvation? No, you idiot. No one ever listens to me. I don't care about all that new age spiritualistic, spiritualist crap. I just want what was promised, you understand? Yes, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Please, just give me the letter. And you can go. I don't want to get hurt. The man seems to be satisfied with the response and takes out the letter from his back pocket and hands it over to you. There. My job is done. This was the easiest thing I've ever done for some dope. What an idiot that guy was. Anyway, I'm out of here. But if I see you again, I will cut your head off for giving me that weird look earlier. Do you understand? 
Yes, I understand. Wow. An angry man, but can 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 I like clean the dude, what are you doing? I wanna clean the desk before I read the letter. Well, I guess I am not gonna be able to complete my job. Do you wish to open the envelope? Indeed I do. You open the envelope carefully, the letter the letter reads as following. Dear Mr. MC, we hope this letter has found its way safely into your hands. Based on the fact that you're reading these words at this very moment, it is safe to say it has. You see, this letter is for your eyes only. Right now, your head is probably filled with questions, so we will do you a courtesy by relieving you of this burden. You are very special, Mr. MC. You see, you have been selected. Selected for what? Another question. Well, here is the answer. You are to do a job, a very important job, one in which your success will decide the fates of those around you. The reading of this letter is the most important moment of your life, and you must choose carefully what to do. <laughs> there is a man by the name of Mr. Sher Ramanesh, I think. He must die tonight by your hands. Exactly how you execute this mission is up to you. As long as you get it done, we are happy. A man shall await for your arrival near the convenience store named Reba 50. Oh, oh, he'll equip you with something. I accidentally clicked through that. Just in case you need a dash of motivation, we know your girlfriend, Amanda. She's very pretty. The way she spends her days in the park looking at people walking by. Simply angelic. She dies should you fail. So with that, we won't take up more of your time. Look at the back of the letter for more information. On the back side of the letter, you find information about Mr. Sure. Well, it's whoopsies. I really don't want anything to happen to my Amanda. I don't think I have any choice but to listen to these guys. Or, perhaps, we could call the police and tell them that there's a bunch of stuff going on. Um, it appears that that is not going to be an option. Maybe we can take a soda for the red. We cannot. So, what we'll do is try once again to clean the desk... All right, well, we can't. I hope that doesn't, you know, cause a problem with our pay. Goodbye, accessory store. I'm on an adventure. This is your moment under the moonlight, Amanda. Amanda's blonde. Wonderful. Can you do it? Me and, and Amanda. Or will you fail like most? Uh, because we're gonna get a gun. A game by Scar Game Productions and Noom. Or Numby? I don't know. I'm sorry, Mr. Shu. Tonight, you die. That's a me. So that may we live. Or, so that we may live. Envelope. Really interesting kind of cutscene sort of, sort of thing. I didn't want to skip anything because I thought maybe there would be something that kind of went along with it, but it appears that I have more questions than answers. Oh, that's it. Thank you for playing the Envelope demo. Full game will be out in the first half of 2024. To help us out, please consider wishlisting the game on Steam, following us on, following us on Twitter, or telling a friend about the game. Well, cool. I liked it. I thought it was pretty fun and entertaining. It looks like it'll be a nice game. It's going to go on my wish list. Uh, definitely recommend it, especially for anybody who is a fan of horror games. Especially ones that have like the PlayStation 1 aesthetic. Uh, I will include the link in the description, so you can always follow that and go try it out for yourself. Again, if you like the game, please wish list it. Uh, tell your friends about it. If you don't have friends, make friends, I guess. It's not that easy. Uh, but I guess try. It sounds hypocritical. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
Uh, you know, goodbye and stay out of cults and stuff, I guess. <laughs>